Okay, so I am here at Freet Flip It. Yes. Okay. Did Freet I pronounce it right? Flip it. Okay. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about the game? Hi, yes. Uh, my name is Julie. I'm a representative of Critical Effects. We are publishers of Cricket Flip It, Cloud Publishers. Uh, and it's a game uh, which includes a lot of stuff in it. First of all, it's a dungeon crawling rhythm based game. Mm -hmm. So if you ever played a Crypt of the Necrodance, so you know the vibe, uh, well, the main character appears in hell. He got there by mistake and he wants to get out of it. Yeah. So now he needs to dance out of it. So uh, nine circles of hell, he needs to dance to move with the rhythm like uh, he attacks with music like he moves with music and if he does it good he plays it well too so and it has roguelike elements so every time uh, you go to dungeon crawling you will have automatically generated levels and um, like every run of the game will be different and uh, every circle will be different too you will get new items new skills new abilities and uh, well, and if you choose one of the girls, she will also give you like your special unique ability. So you have not only like different narrative endings, but also different like gameplay aspects with it. And what is very important for us is our story. Like it's not only a gameplay based game, it's a narrative driven game. Mm -hmm. So your choices matter uh, and like your choice of girls matter too because they also appeared in hell for some reason. They have like different backstories and we would love to see how players will make their choices. Like with, uh, uh, who will be the girl who will you take out of hell too with you? Uh, well, that is it. And yeah, we have a cool music too, because it's a music game, it's a rhythm game, and uh, we have a very talented uh, composer of the music. He, okay. Yes, he used to work as DJ in the club, so he knows like to, how to make people dance. Oh, nice. So, are you good at rhythm dance games? I could say so. I played a lot of uh, Dance Dance Revolution <laughs> okay. yes, in my youth, yeah. and I played a lot of uh, Necro Dancer too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and my team, of course, they tried their best to, to like, beat music games before and to create a music game which will be cool for new generations too. Wow. So, can you tell us a little bit about the, the developer team? Like, is it like a solo dev? Do they have like a team or...? Oh, well, we have a team of seven. Uh, uh, we have very talented 2D artist, Mr. Psina. You can follow his Twitter. And uh, we have a very talented pixel artist uh, who drew all the in-game in uh, pixels, uh, Todo. And um, we have two talented devs. We have game designer, a uh, very talented girl. And uh, also, this game plot is written by two girls. Okay. So, so yeah, it, it it could look like a male gaze um, uh, game, but uh, uh, the story is written by girls. Oh, so I was, I mean, as 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 soon as I looked at the graphic, I was going to ask you like if you guys were inspired by any other like media or any other like titles. <laughs> well, it's kind of obvious we're all anime fans, so yeah, weeps, we are here, we are also, <laughs> yeah, and uh, we tried to make something. Uh, well, unique sounds, like, not very cool, but still unique because uh, we uh, we don't want to copy Asian style. We want to create something on our own because we are Westerners, but we are really big Asian culture enjoyers. So we try to do something in between, like to show our appreciation mm -hmm. of Asian culture. Mm -hmm. too. So what is your favorite enemy? My, f I can show you. Okay, it's Madoka, or oh, it's Nana. Oh. And also Madoka is a magical girl. Oh. Yes, a bit of Naruto. So my, uh, yeah, my tattoos uh, do stuff for me. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I mean, I like the, the color of the Naruto. Uh, yeah. yeah. It looks like a universe, yes. and a galaxy inside. Yes, my tattoo artist, she always make uh, like tattoos in the cosmic style. Sometimes she goes to Korea. I can give you her contacts. <laughs> oh, nice. So I guess you guys are really, very uh, inspired by like a lot of enemies. So is there like favorite enemy game that you have or? Or, or what's your favorite game of all time? Oh wow, it's a big question for me. Um, I think if we speak about anime games, my most uh, favorite one is Fire Emblem Three Houses mm -hmm. because uh, I'm a big fan of tactics and like I enjoy the story a lot because if it would be just tactics, I would enjoy it as much as like the whole story of it. And of course, I'm a big fan of Persona ah, series. Persona, yes, yes, yes. Yes, and of course, we're very inspired by Persona too. Ah, okay. 
So what do you think is the most important thing when you are adapting an enemy into a game? Like, is it just the same like characters or just like different narratives or what's the most important? Well, it's about balance. So you shouldn't copy everything because like we love the culture, but we are not like the bearers of the culture. So uh, and uh, we can try to bring all the stuff that we love but we also should check up like how the, uh, our games feels for like people who are actually from Asian culture. Mm. So that's why we go to uh, Beat Summit, we go to Tokyo Game Show, we go to uh, like uh, we play um, China Joy, and now we are in Busan, also Busan Indie Connect. Thank you so much for inviting us here, and now we can also check how uh, the game is appreciated by Korean players. Oh, nice. So. Have you looked around at BIC and looking at other games yet? Uh, I didn't have a lot of time because I'm the only person here, so uh, I need like to show my game first. But I would love to see more. And as far as I've seen, there's so many indie games. I've never seen so many indie games in one place before. It's usually like big players like Sony, Nintendo, yes. and they bring their stuff. But now it's like inspired dev developers here. And I would love to play more. So I hope uh, uh, like next day, tomorrow, uh, I will play more. And I'm really happy to see that how many like nationalities are brought here. Yes, yes. Yes, and uh, a lot of people, uh, people from uh, a lot of Asian countries. It's it's great. So I can play Korean games. I can play the Asian games here. Thank you for this opportunity. So, what is the best thing about? like being in the indie scene like working in the indie scene i think like mm, the sparkle of creativity is uh, brought by indie games first yes. because uh, of course i'm a publisher uh, my main goal is to sell games my main goal is to reach audience with uh, um, like uh, games that created by e indie developers so i'm mostly like a person of money uh -huh. a person of efficiency but uh, like the creativity is created by indie teams is created by individual minds so it can't be calculated it can't be uh, I would say, well, done efficiently. It's something because it comes from your soul and uh, the uh, soul is only in uh, indie developed games. Of course, <laughs> yes. And you can do it with our games because we have pretty crazy characters here, especially this one with pink hair. Oh, I can see that from the, the tongue that she has. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, yeah, so is it on, on Steam already or do you yes, have like launched? You can play our demo on Steam. It's uh, already published. It's the same as uh, it's presented here today. And speaking of craziness, like this, uh, we have a voiceover in Japanese and in English. We will consider adding Korean too. Uh, yes, we will see like how big of interest it is here. So maybe. Maybe it could be done, mm. so we need your feedback. And um, uh, this character, Ruby, uh, she's really crazy. And uh, in her voiceover, she, uh, her voice actress is uh, uh, the same actress of Jinx from League of Legends. Oh, that's really, yeah. that's really epic. Nice, okay. So when do you guys plan to like have like a full version released? Is there a schedule timeline? We don't have a specific date yet, but we are working very hard to make it sooner than later. Okay. Yes. So is it? Do you guys have any plans for the other console like platforms, or is it just going to be on Steam? Uh, at this point, we haven't made any deals yet, uh, but uh, we do plan to put it uh, on many platforms as we can because uh, like uh, these games plays very good with uh, controllers. Right now is played with Sony controller and uh, uh, yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, do you have anything, any last words you want to say to the viewers or the readers or gamers? Please save your creativity in your soul and make amazing games. All right, so it is Freaked Flip It. Go play the demo now on Steam and uh, have fun with the uh, crazy uh, creative music. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the interview. Minimap, your ultimate gaming hub.